All right, this is for the sign of Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, you're healing from a situation. Your own card. Concerning a commitment. Uh oh. Shit. Okay, let me see here. Oh. Okay, so you're healing from a situation that was very toxic. Your ego could be getting in the way of you working on a partnership here. <clears throat> on building a foundation with somebody. Your addictions could be getting in the way. Your ego, your addiction is getting away, getting in the way of you working on a partnership. But you're trying to heal from this. You want to take a new leap of faith. Oh, Lord. Some of you pets can be acting up. Okay? Um... If you did not complete a course in school, that's showing here too. But this is because somebody has unfinished business. You don't want a situation to end. So you want to take a new leap of faith here. But there is a toxic environment. There is your ego getting in the way of working through this partnership here. But you're trying to heal from this. Somebody's emotionally codependent here. You could be overindulging in food, drinks, or alcohol, or food. Did I? Oh, wait, I said that already. Okay. Yeah, you are, because there's a devil here, Capricorn, strong Capricorn, strong Aries, strong Aquarius, and then we have the fixed signs. But yeah, you're taking a break from a situation. Somebody was emotionally codependent here and was very toxic, had addictions, had an ego problem. And this was interfering with you being able to work on this partnership. But you're trying to heal from this. But this is basically divine intervention intervening in this. Because this environment was too toxic. And somebody was emotionally codependent. So you're taking a break. <clears throat> you're going to be, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, something that is financially stable. You don't want to end a situation. This is the card of Taurus. So you're taking a break from this right now. You could be feeling very stuck in a the situation. There's no movement. This person is tired of feeding this person. And it's making them feel very stuck. But this person is very funny. Financially stable, independent. So you're taking a break from this and it's making you feel stuck. There's no movement. Shit. What is up with this? Okay, wait. Ooh, manipulation at its finest. What? Aquarius, you're not in your element here. This is somebody that is perverted. This is somebody that is very uncaring, who manipulates people and doesn't care who he hurts. What did Aquarius do? Uh, Aquarius, deception at its finest too. Hello. Hidden feelings, deception, things going on behind the scenes. You did that to this person? What? I'm not surprised. But you're not waiting on this anymore? You giving up? Curious. Curious. <clears throat> we have theft here. Right crying. So, an uncold manipulator and a breadcrumber here. And that was deception. Jesus. Okay. Ugh. And you don't want this to end? What? You're failing to change. You need to apologize, Aquarius. You need to express your love. Jesus. 
You're not transforming like you're supposed to be. It's causing an imbalance here. And you don't want to walk away from this. You have to apologize, Aquarius. You have to change. You have to do the inner work too. This is a soulmate. But you have to make a choice between two people. And you don't want to leave this person. I see you want an apology. I mean an apology here. You don't want to leave. Hmm. But you're manipulating the situation. You want to be in a relationship with this person? But there's no growth here? Somebody could be having problems with fertility issues also. You want to take action? Yeah, somebody is being manipulative here. Was it them or you? Looks like you, but... <clears throat> Just wondering. Yeah, you were, you were ghosted. You were left out in the cold. You feel left... You ghosted this person, Aquarius. Left them out in the cold. Because you were manipulating them. You were holding back from a situation. What were you holding back? You were guarding your heart. You're saving your money. Your finances. You're pissed off. You're pissed off. You feel like you have to fight people off to get to this person. But you want you need you wanted to fight off the competition. You're pissed off because now you're holding back. Wow, Taurus got this too. Oh, wait, it was a little different. <clears throat> so somebody made you an offer and then left you out in the cold and now you're guarding your heart, your finances, and you're pissed off. Cause somebody was being manipulative about this situation. you're going to heal from this you need to balance out your emotions you have one foot in and one foot out of the situation and um you're testing the waters right now aquarius you need to balance out your emotions water down the vodka <laughs> okay um so you want to come out of this depression so you're trying to balance out your emotions here and you're holding back, but you're very pissed off. You just need to cool your temper because there was manipulation in the situation. And you don't care who you hurt. Jesus. Too much arrogance. Yeah, you want a reconciliation here, but there was a third party situation. You were dealing with a player? Somebody you had a high level of commitment with. Do you want to come out of depression from this? You will. You will come out. This is somebody from your past. Somebody you've known since childhood. A past is coming back. In June... If you broke up with somebody, the past is coming back and there's going to be a passionate new beginning here. With somebody that puts you at a crossroads. There will be a reconciliation. And you will be very happy. Aquarius. You have no other options. So you're letting your guard down. Because it's stressing you out. And you have no other options but to do so. You're healing because this person wasn't... When this person has not reached out to you. And you're not reaching out to them. You turned your back on them. They turned their back on you. They're emotionally unavailable. And they're trying to sneak away from this. Okay, so we have a liar, cheater, stealer card. And somebody's turning their back. And they're emotionally unavailable now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> and this is making you very unhappy with your family life financially. 
You're going to be getting messages soon within the next eight days. They're going to make you very angry. You feel like this person is the one that got away. You scared of rejection? It's the ending of a relationship, Aquarius. This relationship is not growing closer. It's too many arguments, too much drama, too much conflict, too many bothersome details. This relationship has to end. Aquarius, June, 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 all the way to end. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, that was definitely a third party situation. And you're not juggling two things anymore. You're going to make a decision to release the conflict and the drama because you've been heartbroken and there was a third party situation here. There was three people. And you're deciding to drop it because there's too much drama. And it's causing a breakup here. This is conflict between two people. And this is conflict too. This is arguments, fights, drama, breakups. This is somebody that's very emotionally unavailable right now. And this person turned their back on you. So be careful. Um, if y'all are expecting a check in the mail, y'all will be getting that also. Um, some of you can be having problems with your jaw, your teeth, and your gums. Uh, so stomach ache and insomnia, panic attacks. And um, that's it. Let me see. Whew. You're going to have to stand up for what you believe to be right, Aquarius, and defend your beliefs. And you may want to fight for this. You're still going to put, you're still going to fight for this. Okay. Aquarius. Let's see. Aquarius. What is, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Let me do these just because I need to know. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius for June. June. All of June. Whole month. Whole month of June for Aquarius. Okay. Okay. So... This is concerning your occupation. There is a mature woman and a main female. Is this person not your occupation, Aquarius? Is this somebody you work with? Whoa. Okay. You're going to be getting a message soon, Aquarius. While you're at work, probably from a mature woman... And this could be a main female in a relationship. This is somebody you were in a relationship with. This could be from an official person. You'll be getting a message in the family room of a house. So you'll be checking your mail and you're going to be getting a message in your house. I guess it's mail. <clears throat> it's going to be a message of concern. Curious. And it's going to cause a change in your home environment. And this is going to make you very angry. Because this guy is, this is messages, air travel. And this is a message. And this is going to cause a change in your home environment. And you got two messages of concern. Curious. Any more for June? Any more for June? <clears throat> it's concerning a commitment or a marriage. It's concerning a child. You could be taking a trip. You might get this message also while you're taking a trip. You may have to take a trip concerning a child. And, a, and this is concerning a marriage or a commitment. Somebody you were in a marriage or a commitment with. But you will be taking a trip. So expect a message of concern. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see. Aquarius in love. For love, let's do Aquarius just to see what we got. Ugh. Okay, some of you may be taking a trip. Okay, Aquarius. You're going to have to learn how to forgive. So as you release and heal the past, 
You will experience more love in the present. You need to heal your family issues. Your love life will begin to benefit as long as you forgive your family, your parents. You know, you're going to have to heal those because it does actually affect you the way you're brought up in life. So it all depends on who you were brought up with, how your parents got along. Because if your parents are going to treat you or treat their spouse a certain way, that is very likely that you're going to do the same thing. So heal your family issues, learn how to forgive, don't hold on to grudges, enjoy the holiday of uh, holiday time together with someone. You might be enjoying holiday times with someone. And this is somebody you've known before. So if you forgive and learn from your mistakes, you learn to heal your issues with uh, your family and start to get to know each other again. <sighs> your family issues will be healed. Just get to know this person. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You need to get to know each other and understand each other better. You got to open up and have a heart-to-heart. -heart. If you don't express how you feel. Alright, this is a soulmate, Aquarius. No wonder why you don't want to let it go. <clears throat> see. Aquarius, any more? It's for June. Any more for Aquarius? Alright, so I don't know if this is old or new, but this person is your soulmate. And your feelings are real and worth exploring. There are real romantic feelings here, so... Aquarius, did you get a new boo? In the near future, Aquarius, you're going to have to learn to compromise. Aquarius wants his cake and eat, eats it too, huh? But there is no fun without having cake if you can't eat it, right? But in the near future, you're going to have to compromise. But don't stop what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, you're on the right path. Because you're on the way to your soulmate. You just have to do the inner work. You're not changing. You're not changing at all. <clears throat> there will be helpful people. You just have to learn to trust in your intuition and look for a sign. You know that there are signs, Aquarius. So look for them. You're going to have to compromise. You can, the answer is no. You're going to have to take action. Get rid of the baggage. There's no need for you to worry, but you have to choose a new direction. And your health will be improving. So good luck, Aquarius. <clears throat>